Hey everyone, welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. Happy Saturday. Hope everybody is doing well. Just wanted to give a, a quick update of where we're at with everything. Uh, this morning was cold, well, at least for around here. I think I saw it down to about 25 and it didn't get up above freezing until somewhere around 10. Well, I threw on my monkey suit, Carhartts, and I needed to prune the fruit trees. We're having the February fake out around here in January, and I'm sure everywhere has their own version of this, but we'll get a stretch of two, three, some cases four weeks where you almost are convinced winter is over way sooner than it should be. Well, it's happening right now. We got a string of days where they're forecasting us to have highs right around 60 degrees. So, needless to say, those fruit trees that I enjoy every summer, those need a prune this morning. And I hadn't run the chipper in probably close to a year. So I drug it out and chipped all that crap up. Now I'm back to the shop. Um, got a lot of stuff in here right now. Uh, Got those XL12s that are airing out. Uh, just drained the fuel this morning. Final test runs were good to go there. Uh, yeah, I had a couple new ones arrive. That 330 is in its box. I'm going to weigh it and tape it later this afternoon and get it on its way. Elliot, your SP80. Apparently, um, I don't know what kind of a moment I had, but when I clicked order on parts for that, I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing because that's the piston I got a 70 cc piston instead of an 80 now I'm waiting for that to arrive then I think I have everything to go ahead and do that build on that that 80 for you so it's still sitting out there as soon as that damn piston comes in yeah I don't again I have no idea what happened there uh, Herbert, your XL103 is here safely. Of all things, I did not have a flywheel for that uh, to, to take care of that little issue. So I've got that on the way. That might actually come in today's mail. That came out of Washington, so it shouldn't take all that terribly long. There's one more. James, your 150. Man, I haven't had a saw kick my ass like this in a long time. That 150 has had a little nitpicky group of problems that has just kind of blown me away. Uh, I don't think I've posted anything about this. I wasn't happy with the quality of any of the videos I did, mostly because of my own, uh, shall we say, disposition. That's what we'll say is disposition in those. Uh, the fast idle uh, trigger lock I've got the directions on how to replace that. I don't know how any tech ever did it. I tried for uh, close to three hours, and I could not get a spring up in there. That is one of the most nightmarish... I disabled it. I, I can't do anything else with it. I had it running. It was running okay, but it was real slow to start, and one of the first things that I needed to replace I could see that somebody had been over tightening the carburetor badly because that's the intake and you can see how it's all indented in there so that is the best guess that I have is that it wasn't sealing around the impulse hole there so then I got you know I, I don't take stuff apart until I've got replacement parts and I had no reason I, I don't know why I didn't think to look at this uh, I've never come across this before but Shit, I mean, I'm able to find Here it is. The spacer and gasket that goes behind it had gotten the same treatment. And that is so distorted and out of shape. Whoop. And wouldn't you know it, I didn't have that in stock either. Uh, I've been a run on 150 parts. I mean, a real good run. Yeah, this thing is so distorted. There was no way I was going to put that back on there. Uh... So I'm waiting for that to come in. Once that gets here, I think I've got everything to, to have it be a good runner. The oil tank needed a new gasket in it, and the oil pump was failing, so I've replaced it. haven't been able to test it yet because I haven't had it running, but I want to get as much of that put back together as I can and out of the way for some of the other saws. So, yeah, that's kind of an update if you've been watching... <sighs> You know, stuff come through the bench wondering, hey, why hasn't mine come up yet? 
Now, if it's one of those three saws, that's why. That is absolutely why. A mix of bad luck, uh, not apparently paying attention to what I'm ordering on eBay, and yeah, just is what it is. So, anyhow, when it comes to ordering parts, I've had more projects lately where I've had to. I don't know. You get them. It, it, it's weird. You know, I might go several months and have everything I need here, and then five saws in a row. I'll have to order parts from two, three, four different places, and. I actually think delivery times are a little bit worse right now than they were around Christmas. Uh, and I'm not going to blame the post office this time around. One out of about every ten, they are fouling up. But UPS is doing it too. The rest of it is actually slow seller shipping. Uh, years ago on eBay, they introduced their, well, as part of the feedback, the shipping cost, shipping time, communication. And you had to maintain a, oh, geez, to be a, a top-rated seller. I don't even know if they do that anymore, but to be a top-rated seller, you had to, I want to say it was be north of 95%. Maybe it was stricter than that on all those categories, and they kind of backed off of that uh, a number of years ago. And, yeah, shipping times have slipped. And I know guys are busy. I, I get that, but there are... There are still some sellers that will get it in the mail the next day, and there are some you may wait a week or more before your stuff gets in the mail. So that may never change. We'll see. I have no idea. But some of the delays right now can be traced back to that. And again, I would say there's more of that going on right now than there is actually postal delays. So, yeah, we'll see. Anyhow, I'm going to get some of this 150 put back together to the point where I've got to set it aside. There were a couple new saws that came in yesterday. Yeah, this is Saturday. Yeah, yesterday. I haven't even looked at the names on the boxes yet. I don't know what's in them, but you can be fairly certain there will be some more videos this weekend working on those saws. So, hope everybody's doing well, and happy weekend.